Hello, you are welcome to this video. In this video, we'll be discussing the interpretation of integers. And this is very important. In case you are given a word problem, how would you write it in form of expression without any uh, mistake? So let's look into um, some examples. I have about 10 examples for you here. And by the end of these 10 examples, you are expected to be able to interpret a word problem and write it correctly as an expression. Okay? So, um, let's look into the first one here. Subtract 4 from 6. Subtract 4 from 6. I'm going to give you uh, a method that you'll be using and any question that comes your way will, sl will seriously be dealt with. So, you need to be very careful with it, okay? So, the, the, the trick is to always start from the word, from the operator, okay? So, this will be number 1, okay? Then, you continue... This will be number two. Okay, this will be number two. And this will be the last one I'm going to write. Okay, so let me show you very well. So, subtract, that means what? Minus, right? So, you can have subtraction, you can have difference, minus, they all mean the same thing. Okay, so if I want to interpret this or if I want to write this one as an expression, so I'll start from the sign, that is uh, from the operator rather, that is subtract. So, I have subtract here, that is my minus. 4 okay so this will be the first one i'll write that's the sign then 4 will be the second one okay then from here from 6 then i have to go back and put the 6 here so that is the interpretation of this subtract 4 from 6 look at the order i firstly wrote the sign then i moved forward so this should be the second one and backward will be the last one okay so that is the pattern subtract four from six so let's say you have this and you want to write it in words it's still possible so this will be the first one you will see that subtract then you move forward this one will be the second one four okay then this will be the third one and it's the last one here yeah? so subtract four then from six so that is how to go about it let's look into another one add six to four so let's start with the sign add that is plus sign then that will be the first one so we we'll move forward six so that will be the next one then towards to four so this one will be the last one we're going to write and we write it at the back here so we're going to write it here so that will be four okay so look at it add that's number one six that's the second one to what to four that is the third and the last one so this is the third and the last one so that is how to interpret that so let's say you have four to six that if you want to interpret this you want to write it in words it will be add that's the first one then we'll move forward six two then we we'll come to the last one here yeah, which is four always be the last one okay so that's how to interpret that let's look into the third one subtract four from six so let's start with the operator subtract that is minus then we we'll move forward four right you you have the four here from here from six then we have to come back and put the six here so that is how to interpret this so um if you want to write it in the expression form so let's say you want to interpret this again okay let's say you have six minus four you want to interpret this you want, or you want to write this in words it will be this will be the first one you write you move forward to write the second one and you come back word here and this will be the last one you write so it will be subtract four from six let's look into the first one here subtract six from negative four so following the pattern we start from the operator here subtract then six we move forward from negative four from negative four so negative four is this and it will be at the back here so look at the first one here subtract six that's the second one from negative four 
so that will be the last one you write down so if you want to interpret this it's still the same way if you want to write this in words so you have to start in this order the first one is the operator here that is subtract then you move forward six from negative four let's look into another one add six to negative four so we start with this add that is plus then we move forward six to what to negative four then we come back here and put our negative four here look at the pattern this one is the first one you move forward this one will be the second one i have to go backward and this will be the last one here so once you understand this pattern any question that comes your way will be very simple let's look into another one that's the um, sixth one subtract negative six from four so using that pattern subtract that is the first one minus sign negative six so this is negative six from what from four so you put the four here now um, earlier in one of the previous uh, videos i told you that anytime you have two signs placed beside one another you have to combine them together okay so you know that these are similar signs if i may ask you similar signs combine together to become positive or negative good of you similar signs combine together to become positive so that means this will be the same thing as four add six okay so this is the same as this okay so let's look into uh, the seventh example add negative six to negative four we want to add negative six to negative four so add this will be the first one then negative six will be the second one you move forward and you come backward and write negative four okay so this is the first one this is the second one and this will be the third one okay so following the pattern we were taught earlier add negative six that's add that is plus then we move forward negative six this is negative six to negative four so you have to come back here and put the third one there negative four okay so you have two signs placed side by side so you already know that you have to combine them and in this case there's there are different signs so different signs combine together to become negative so you have minus four then minus six so that will be uh the result okay when you combine two different signs two different signs combine together to become negative okay so let's look into another one here multiply six by two then subtract the result from negative four so the, you have two um operators here so the first one is to multiply then the second one is to subtract Sorry, let's go with the first one multiply six by two so that is going to be 12 okay so this is the result okay of six multiplied by two now then subtract the result from negative uh four so this is the result our result is 12 so now let's go with this subtract the result the result is 12 from negative four then you come back here and put your negative four here so this is how uh, you interpret this is pretty simple once you know the pattern you understand the pattern very well then uh, you are always good to go okay so let's look into another one that's the ninth one divide six by two then add the result to negative two okay so we have a double operator here you have division and we have addition okay so divide six by two if you divide six by two that will give you three so this is the result now this is the result and we are asked to add the result to negative two so going with um, our um, convention so add that will be plus the result we want to add the result the result is three to what to negative two so you come back here and put your negative two here so this is how to interpret this so let's look into the last one which is the tenth one divide six by two 
then multiply 4 and add the result to positive 5. Okay, so we have three operators here division, multiplication, and addition. So let's start with this one first. Divide 6 by 2, you have 3. So this is our result. Then multiply by 4. So you have to do 3 multiplied by 4. So this will give us what? 12. So we have 12 here. Okay. So the, the result here is 12. And we are asked to add the result to positive 5. So going uh, by this first, add the result, which is 12, to positive 5. So this will be... Uh, the final interpretation so you need to be very careful once you understand the pattern you start from the operator you move forward to write the second one and you come backward to write the last one so once you follow this pattern you can always get your answer conveniently so this will be the end of this uh, video uh, the next video will be the last one that is the seventh one and in that video we'll be discussing uh, the solution to some past uh, papers on integers. Thank you. Mm -hmm.